Right, today we're going to be grooming Milo. Um, as you can see, hey, not the biscuits. <laughs> it's sort of caught me now, but. Sit down. Good boy. Sit down. Good boy. Probably goes a long way when you're brushing your mouth. So I'm using a soft brush, that's to get him used to knowing that I'm brushing him. And a slicker brush, as you can see, it picks up his hair nicely. Um, we brush him about once a week. He's now in do shed twice a year, but he does shed a lot in a one week shed, as I'll show you. That's just the start. And I put a towel down so that when I'm brushing him, the hairs tend to stick to the towel. Don't do it outside because it's really windy outside. Yes. You know what that is, don't you? You know what that is. You like this one. You know what time it is. <laughs> it's brush time. Even that one gets off a bit, but this is the one that will take off the bulk of his hair. You ready, Milo? I said it's a good idea to give him a treat. Distract him a little bit, as long as he hasn't got food aggression. So I always start off doing long strokes just to get me used to the brush. Good boy. They do melt an awful lot, as you can see. <laughs> it isn't the most pleasant of brushes, but it does do the job. So, so you just do this bit first. There's no more biscuits up there, Milo. He doesn't like staying still. I'm using a small slicker brush because I find it easier to use. Um, this one is actually for the cats, uh, but you can get bigger ones. But it's probably more appropriate for his size, but this is what I prefer using. It's my personal preference. It does take a little bit longer. As you can see, <laughs> it's just coming out in clumps. Sometimes it's best to pull the, separate the hair like that so you can get right in. To get all the undercoat. Milo. Milo mates have two coats. So we need to keep deep down, don't we, to get your other undercoat out. He's got such a thick coat. Although this brush, if you look at the bristles, they look quite brutal. Uh. Hey! <laughs> Did I stop? Did you not like the fact that I stopped? Yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> they do look quite a bit brutal, but um, I think Milo likes it. It's like a bit of a massage for him. It takes about, well, it can take up to an hour if I'm yep. deep brushing session. You're not meant to eat it. <laughs> Is that yours? <laughs> you want it back? So ideally you need two hands to do this. Brush down. So you're flip. And then brush up. So doing it this way gets the undercoat out a lot more. And then brush it back afterwards. Ooh. You got fluff on your nose, baby. Good boy. You like that bit? <laughs> Looking at the camera. I think I've got a <coughs> blow dryer that would blow his coat out, but I thought I'd just do it with a brush this time. And I haven't bathed him purely because I know he's got a lot of coat that needs to come out. 
and there's absolutely no point in, in bathing him when all I'm doing is bathing loose hair. So late on tonight, he will be getting a bath as well. How often are you supposed to brush my nails? Um, I brush him once a week. And Sonny is starting to blow his coat out, so I'm getting a lot more hair off him this week than I would have done last week. He's not so keen on me brushing his back end. It's probably his least favourite. Yeah, you know where I'm going, don't you? Don't like me touching your butt. <laughs> Gotta be done. If you've got a mother moot already, you know how hairy they are and how much hard work it is to keep on top of their hair mowing. If you haven't got a mother moot already, just look at the pile of fluff so far. Look at the fluff. It's like a pillow. I know. I say it's now, we're in April and he is starting to blow through. Well, he's blowing through now. And then he'll have his next one probably September. Ready for his new winter coat. You're gonna be so much later. All right. As you can see, he doesn't like me doing his back end, but it will get done. Just having a grumble. What are you doing, Milo? Maybe we should move this away from you a bit. You got it all in your mouth, look. Ugh. It's not a case of me putting it too close to you, it's a case it's just building up too fast. It's that nice massage. I got your nose. I got your nose. <laughs> I'm gonna say some people use a comb. I find it easy with this slick brush. The only thing I would not suggest using is a Ferminator brush. Um, I've never used it on my lips. I know a lot of people that have used it on their pets and it tends to remove hairs that don't need removing. And then you end up with a pet, the very thin coat. Doesn't look healthy and unnecessary hair removal. I don't like brushing his tail. I like it nice and bushy. Oh, you just stink. <laughs> That's your bulk off, isn't it? Start if you melt. And then we can try again next week, get a bit more off, yeah? Good, very good. As you can see, it's a fair bit. And that's like a week's worth of the start of his shedding. You don't want to roll in it, Milo. <laughs> well, I would, um, as an idea, rather than just throwing all that fur in the bin, um, the thing that I do with it is I will save it, and it's ideal for putting out for the birds in the winter so they can make their nests. So it doesn't go to waste. And then the birds can actually make nests in the winter for their little ones to be hatched in, and it keeps them warm. Right, so that's it for this video. Um, we will see you in the next one. Are you going to say goodbye? Say bye! <laughs>